Well, hello everyone. I have a massive problem in my life and my iPhone 12 Pro, I do not understand what the issue is. It just seems like every single moment I open it up, there is a brand new issue. Now, a month ago, it's been exactly a month from when I'm recording this audio, July 21st, 2021, I made this video talking about, wait, why did this happen to my brand new iPhone 12 Pro? And I pretty much talked about how my iPhone 12 Pro went from 100%, you know, brand new battery health when I bought it brand new, down to 91% for the maximum capacity. I looked around to all my other devices I've ever owned, including my iPhone 11 Pro and my iPhone 10 from that time and my iPhone 7 Plus from before, and I pretty much saw that all of them were roughly around the same battery percentage when I bought that phone. And when I bought my iPhone 10, that thing I think was like around 80 something percent battery health, and it's still around 80 something percent battery health, like it's only went down like a percent or two, and this is like two years or three years after me buying it. My iPhone 11 Pro, I bought it brand new, you know, in 2019, I used it, I still kind of use it to this day, and that phone also had, you know, like 98% or 99% battery health, so it's not like I, you know, brutalize my phones, you know, I know how to use them, I don't put them in super hot conditions, you know, I typically just leave them in my house, to be honest, I don't go anywhere, I leave it on charge overnight, I was using that MagSafe charger, but now I moved away from that MagSafe charger. I no longer use that MagSafe charger anymore. It's been about a month, so ever since I made that video, I stopped using a wireless charger, and I literally plug my phone into the bottom, and that's it. I also have an iPhone 12. To give you some perspective, I have an iPhone 12. That thing's still at, I think, like 100% maximum capacity, and I use that thing all the time, and I kill that thing all the time, too, and I charge it back up, and that thing's still at 100%. I use that heavily on my second channel. Now, with my iPhone 12 Pro, in one month, okay, get this, in one month my phone went from 91 percent on that maximum capacity now it's down to 87 percent of maximum capacity for this phone that does not make any sense whatsoever this phone went down four percentage points in one month it makes no sense at all it's been exactly one month i show you proof in that video 91 percent now i'm going to go ahead and screen record this specific segment as well i'm away from my setup but that does not make any sense i'm scrolling up and down 87 percent it just doesn't make any sense for an iphone 12 pro to be experiencing this type of massive battery health degradation and like i mentioned in one month i would understand if it's been like two years or one year even for four percent like i mentioned i have not used this phone any different from when I used any other phone from before. I'm pretty much staying inside, you know, like just like everyone else, we don't really go out that much. We don't do anything crazy and I never put my phone in super hot conditions. I never kill my personal phone. I just, you know, just keep it on charge. I don't even charge it throughout the day. I unplug it in the morning and I plug it at night. That's it. And it's never dead. So why is this phone going down this much percentage points wise? I thought at first it could be because of that MagSafe charger, but after this month, it's still going down like this. So there has to be an issue with these iPhone 12s, with the iPhone 12 Pro specifically. I have scoured the internet from a bunch of different Apple forums, not only the subreddit for Apple, but also Apple's own website, and a ton of people on that website are also mentioning massive degradation on their iPhone 12 Pro battery, and it doesn't make any sense to me why this is happening. This is a massive issue, you know, I very rarely experience issues that a ton of people experience. The last time something like this happened was with my LG G2, with the like touchscreen issue, there was maybe like a Nexus 5 and 5X that I had that issues used too, but even things like with iOS problems, and I'm running full stock iOS, this is not a beta either, this is full iOS 14.7.1 right now, and it's just a crazy situation. Now for me, I'm going to buy the next iPhone, so it doesn't really matter, but for a lot of people out there, they want to keep this phone for like 3, 4, 5 years, and they don't want to have to give it to Apple for them to replace the battery for like 100 something dollars, so it's a crazy situation, I'm not too sure what's going Going to happen in the future but you know i just want to address it again there's no reason there should never be a situation where on normal uses a phone should go down four percentage points in the maximum capacity for their battery health especially for a brand new a thousand dollar phone so that's pretty much it that's all i gotta say if anything happens again it's probably going to go down to like zero percent in no time if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.